Hello everybody, my name is Miss Jill and I'm going to be your teacher for our GRBC Kids Worship. I am so happy you could be with us tonight and we look forward to seeing you for all of our other lessons that we're going to be starting with. So right now I like to always start my lessons with a prayer. So I want you to close your eyes, put your hands together and let's say a word of prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you so much for this day, and I thank you for these children. They are a blessing, and that I pray that you will be with them and be with us as we learn more about you. I pray that you guide us, protect us, and keep us safe. In Jesus' name I do pray, amen. You know, recently we just had vacation Bible school with our church, and it what we learned was how the power of Jesus gets us through many things. We learned how he got us through hard times. He helps us do, well, sorry, he helps us do hard things. He, help, he gives us hope. He helps us to be bold. He helps us to live forever. And he helps us to be a friend. Now tonight, what we're going to learn is sort of like on the first night with VBS, where we learned how the power of Jesus helps us do hard things. And, you know, growing up, you know, hard things can be many things. It can be, oh, taking a test, you know, doing your chores when you're being told you have to, um, not, how can I put this, not doing something wrong. Sometimes it's very hard not to do something wrong when we know what's right. Um, but tonight, we're going to be talking about honesty. Now, honesty, a person can be dishonest if they cheat. They can be dishonest if they lie, if they steal. If, oh, your parent tells you to take out the trash, and you don't take it out when they tell you to, and when they ask you, hey, did you take out the trash? And you say, oh, yes. You know that they're going to find out. And then you're going to be in trouble, aren't you? Yeah. Trust me. I know. Um, so tonight, most people, when they think of honesty, they think about somebody when they're dishonest. They think more about a thief because they do a lot of stealing. And tonight's lesson, we're gonna learn about this young man named Zacchaeus. And he was very dishonest. Uh, oh man, he was so dishonest. See, back in the day, Rome controlled a lot of land and area. And they had tax collectors. Boo! Yes. <sighs> but, Tax collectors were really, really hated because they were never honest about what they collected. See, Rome could say, guess what? I want you to collect three coins from this person. But when they went up to the person, they said, I want six coins. So they gave three to Roman, three to Rome, they kept three. That's why a lot of them became very rich people, and that's because they were very dishonest. So tonight, I want you to open your Bible, and we're going to look in the book of Luke. Now, just for your own reference, in the Bible, you got two sections. You got the Old Testament, you got the New Testament. The Old Testament is in the front, New Testament's in the back. Luke is in the New Testament, and it's the third book. It goes Matthew, Mark, Luke. So he's in the third book. We're going to be looking at Luke chapter 19, and we're going to read verses 1 through 10. As Jesus was passing through Jericho, a man named Zacchaeus, one of the most influential Jews in the Roman tax collecting business, and of course, a very rich man. Try to get a look at Jesus, but he was too short to see over the crowds. So he ran ahead and climbed into a sycamore tree beside the road to watch from there. 
When Jesus came by, he looked up at Zacchaeus and called up to him by name. Zacchaeus, he said, quick, come down, for I'm going to be a guest in your home today. Zacchaeus hurriedly scrambled down the tree and took Jesus to his home in great excitement and joy. But the crowds were displeased. He has gone to be a guest of the notorious sinner, they grumbled. Meanwhile, Zacchaeus stood before the Lord and said, Sir, from this moment on, I will give half of my wealth to the poor. And if I find I have overcharged anyone on their taxes, I will penalize myself by giving him back four times as much. Jesus told him, this shows that salvation has come to this home today. So, Zacchaeus, I mean, he, he cheated people out of their money. And he, you know, he, rep he told the Lord he was sorry, and the Lord forgave him. And he agreed to give back half his wealth to the poor, and anybody he did wrong, he would give it back four times. So if you don't understand what giving back something four times is, let's say you got two pieces of candy and somebody did you wrong. In this case, we're going to say Zacchaeus did you wrong. He stole your two pieces of candy. What he's going to do is in return, he's going to give you eight pieces. So he's going to give you back eight. So four times two is eight. There's a little math question in there. <laughs> so Zacchaeus was sorry, and the Lord forgave him. Now, I want you to understand, God is honest. God wants you, you, you understand, to be honest also. And I want you to think... You know, he wants you to be honest in everything you do. He gets very upset when you're not honest. And I want you to think of some situations. And I want to pause. And I want you to think of some situations when it's challenging for you to be honest. So think about that for a second. And again, you know... Being honest can be anything from, you know, not doing what your parents tell you to do. It could be lying, cheating, uh, stealing. Anything could be dishonest. And I want to read a Bible verse. This is in Proverbs. It's in the Old Testament. It's behind the book of Psalm. And it's verse 12. I'm sorry, chapter 12, verse 22. God delights in those who keep their promises and abhors those who don't. So if you don't know what the word abhor means, it means it's another word for hate. So he loves it when you keep your promises. He hates when you don't keep your promise. All right, so to... To finalize everything and to finish and wrap it up, so the next time you have the ability, uh, you have the chance to be truthful. You know, be truthful. You know, be honest. You know, if your parent tells you to do something, don't lie and say you did it when you didn't. D go forward and do it. Do what your parents are telling you to do. To do. So. As we learn, Zacchaeus was not honest, and people know it. People are going to know if you're honest or not. They are going to find out, and they're not going to trust you. So if people do not trust you, how can you tell others about Jesus, um, who's God's son? Or how... Can they trust you to be a good friend to them? So I want you to think about that. And 
We will see you next week. I'm going to close out with another prayer. But again, remember, be honest. Zacchaeus wasn't honest in the beginning. He, he told the Lord he was sorry, and the Lord forgave him. So I want you to, again, remember, you need to be truthful, to be honest, because people will find out, and they will know, and they won't trust you, and you want them to trust you, because you want to be able to tell others about God. So let's close out with a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you so much for the ability to talk with these children today. And Lord, I pray for strength that they are honest and that if they were not honest, they could ask somebody to forgive them for when they were not honest. Lord, just pray for strength in your guidance in lessons to come. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.